You're watching WHUC TV 7. Now, live from the news station with coverage you can count on, this is Heinz' very own WHUC News. Good evening, and welcome to WHUC News 7 newscast at 5 p.m. I'm Tierra Jackson. And I'm Harmony Porter. Last week at the U, our residential assistants first hosted their first weekish, which involves many program activities for all students here at the U. That's right, Harmony. And our SGA is hosting Welcome Week this week. Monday, SGA hosted a meet and greet at the Plaza, and Tuesday, they hosted a movie night. To turn things up a notch, they are hosting a block party tonight at 8 p.m. on the Plaza. And to end things off with a bang, a cookout will be hosted tomorrow at 12 at the, on the Plaza as well, where there will be sizzling hot burgers and cool drinks. Speaking of cool drinks, <laughs> let's take a look at the weather with our local weatherman, Ezekiel <coughs> Harris. Well, we'll see if those burgers are just as sizzling as the sun. Ezekiel? Thank you, Harmony. I'm just excited for the cookout as you all are. This past weekend, we've had some rainy days, but it heated back up in the mid-90s. Right now, we are at a high of 95 degrees with a low of 74 degrees tonight. Back to you, Harmony. Thank you, Ezekiel. I sure hope the cookout doesn't get rained out. I'm looking forward to some ribs. Right after the break, we're going to take a look at what homecoming would be like this year at Hines Community College. Are you ready to join the welding and cutting technology department at Hines Community College Utica campus? The Heinz Utica Welding Program trains students to be proficient in a number of welding techniques. In the welding program at Heinz Utica, students prepare for entry-level employment in the field of welding and cutting. The program highlights steel and shop safety, MIG welding, TIG welding, flux cord welding, and shield metal welding skills, basic blueprint reading, and more. The welding program also provides students with the time and space necessary to develop their skills in order to gain entry-level employment in the welding field. So don't delay. Come to Heinz Utica today and begin your career in welding. Welcome back to WHUC News 7 newscast at 5 p.m. Applications for homecoming May are now open and will close on September 3rd at noon. Ladies, go ahead and fill out those applications. Who knows, you might be the next homecoming May or even the next homecoming queen. Today, with their vaccine drive on the Raymond campus from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Trust Care Medical Clinic is providing the Pfizer vaccinations to students and employees at the Eagle Escape Room located in the Student Union. WHUC News 7 reporter Jacobus Roby reporting is, is reporting from Raymond Campus. Jacobus? That's right, Harmon. As you can see, we're live on the Raymond Campus where students, faculty, and staff are lining up to receive the vaccine. Trust Care for Bottomless, Summer Payton, explains to us the process of signing up to get the vaccine. We were able to speak with Nurse Maya Brown as she tells us her goal as a nurse when it comes to those that want to receive the vaccine. Uh, my goal as a nurse is to make sure you're comfortable and that you're educated because education comes first when it comes to the vaccine. Thomas Garrett and Trellick Forrest give us their message to those missing out on this opportunity. If you have doubts, you know, talk to your doctor. Let them you know, talk it out. Be cautious because you're more at risk without you know, having the vaccine. So around people, have your mask up, like, have it up, up, not down here, up. We were also able to speak with Heinz student Ivy Davenport as she tells us about the ease of receiving the shot. I feel like it was very easy. I came in and I sat right down. I didn't have to wait or anything, so it was a very easy process. As you can see, one stick and it's that easy. Jacob Strobe reporting for WHUC News 7. Thank you, Jacobus. When we come back, we will take a look at what is all going on in the technology world. Stay tuned. Are you interested in becoming a fashion designer, buyer, or stylist? Or maybe open your own boutique? Heinz Community College Utica Campus has the perfect program for you. Join the clothing and fashion design program today. In this program, we train students how to become excellent fashion designers by teaching you the skill set that is necessary to become a wonderful fashion designer. In our classroom, we are equipped with industrial sewing machines and all tools needed to obtain the skills necessary for your career. Join fashion today at the U. Welcome back. As y'all may have heard, T-Mobile has been hacked. 
T-Mobile's data breach has reached more than 50 million users now affected. Tech reporter Evan Hughes has the latest technology news. What's going on, Evan? That's right, homie. Well, over 50 million T-Mobile users now affected here are some tips to secure your account. If you are a current T-Mobile user, you should change your T-Mobile PIN. You should log into your T-Mobile account under my T-Mobile drop down menu and select my profile. You select my profile, select profile information. Scroll down next to change PIN select, edit, enter your PIN twice, then select save. Also, for protect your T-Mobile account, you can use T-Mobile's free account takeover protection services to help authorize users friendly pull it out and stealing your phone again number again I don't know how you are feeling but it is important for everyone as a T-Mobile user to follow these steps to protect their information. I'm Tier, back to you. Thank you Evan. Those are some helpful tips if you are a T-Mobile user. Tia, what do you think about all of this? Harmony, to be honest, I really don't know what to think about all this because my dad is a T-Mobile user and he has been receiving information and tips the same thing Evan has had um, said. Well, folks, let's take a look back at our weather. Ezekiel? We track storms with accurate forecasts. This is your WHUC Weather Authority. Dangerously hot conditions with daytime heat in this up values up to 115 degrees. Overnight temperatures warmer than 75 degrees. Northeast Louisiana, far southeast Arkansas, and western Mississippi, extreme heat and humidity would significantly increase the potential heat for rela related illnesses. Particularly these working for participating in outdoor activities, drink pl plenty of fluids, stay in air conditioned room, stay out of the sun, and check up on relatives and neighbors. Young children and pets should never be left unattended in vehicles under any circumstances. Henry brings scattered showers into storms to New England and it finally moves off the coast today. It continues to fade into obscurity. Elsewhere in the Atlantic Basin, three disturbances are vying for attention. While nothing of note in tropics as of yet will be watching the system in the Caribbean that could bring itself to the southwest ghost Gulf of Mexico. Through the development in the weekend into next week. Back to you, Tierra. Thank you, Ezekiel. As you all may have heard, last week Morgan F Freeman filmed a movie on Ferry Street as well as a movie being filmed in Jackson called The Inspection. Mississippi has been gaining a lot of attention in the filming industry. You all will have more information from our uh, entertainment correspondent, Devin Anderson. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the entertainment news. I found more information on the movie, The Inspection. It stars one of my favorite female actors, the beautiful and inspirational Gabrielle Union. There is also a movie called Rumble Through the Dark, which will be filmed in Natchez, Mississippi. Rumble Through the Dark is based on the Michael Ferris Smith novel, The Fighter. Smith adapt, adopt, adapted this novel and Graham Phillips and Parker Phillips will direct. Rumble Through the Dark is set in the dark landscape of the Mississippi Delta, where a former barrel knuckle fighter must win one last fight to pay off his debts to the local mob boss and save his childhood home. The stakes are nothing less than life or death. With a story like this, I am sure that everyone will be on the edge of their sheets. These films being filmed in the state of Mississippi is nothing but amazing. Having this exposure and business here in the hospitality state makes me a proud Mississippian. And I pray that this is only the beginning. Things are looking bright for the state of Mississippi. Back to you, Tierra and Harmony. Yes, indeed. Things are looking brighter in the state of Mississippi. However, with COVID rates climbing at an all-time high, it is looking like Mississippi will have to be on lockdown real soon. We'll come back after these messages. Stay tuned. Looking to start a career in cosmetology? Join us at the U. That's Heinz Community College, the Utica campus. We're located on the second floor of H.H. Davis Hall, where we have a state-of-the-art training facility. We train students on the professional standards of hair care, skin care, nail care, and 
and salon business. Start your beauty industry career here at Heinz Community College, the Utica campus. Welcome back everyone. As you all know, COVID-19 cases are at an all-time high in the state of Mississippi. Yes, that's right. A DeSoto County grandmother pleads with DeSoto County School District and State Governor Tate Reeves to place a mask mandate. Kim Chapman says with the school, DeSoto School District going person 100% and masks are not required, she is worried for the well-being of her family. Chapman says people need to stop calling these, this a political issue. That virus doesn't know if you're right or if you're left, so go for it for Governor Reeves continuously not wanting to take any action. Why? What is your reason? Chapman said. Also, on Friday, Mississippi State Health Officer Dr. Thomas Dobbs issued a statewide health order for the isolation of individuals who have been diagnosed with COVID-19. Dobbs stated that all individuals who reside in the state of Mississippi must immediately home isolate on first knowledge of infection with COVID-19. Everyone, inclu including fully vaccinated individuals infected with COVID-19, must remain at home for 10 days from the onset of the illness. Those who fail to comply with these orders will face a fine or jail time. But on a livelier note, I don't know about you, Tierra, but I'm really in interested in seeing what's going on in the sports world. Yes, Harmony. I know you are a current soccer player at Heinz Community College. What all is going on? It's been well. Actually, our first game is today, and I'm pretty excited. But you know what else is exciting? What? Football season. Yes, that's right. Football season is around the corner. Let's take a look at our sports corner with Tracy Gray. Tracy, when is football season? Well, ladies football season is coming soon. But now, let's take a look at soccer lineup. Tonight, both women and men's soccer teams are going against Pearl, they're going against Pearl River. Our Lady Eagles will go against uh, the Lady Eagles at five. Wildcats at 5 p.m. following up with the men's team at 7. Our soccer team will also go against Jones Community College on August 31st. Lady Eagles will start at 5 p.m. following up with the men's team at 7 as well. On September the 3rd, both our men and women's soccer teams will be going against Southwest Community College. So go on, so go on out and support our Eagles as they tackle this soccer team, soccer season. Speaking of tackles, let's tackle this football season. Our football team is gearing up against to go against Coma Community College September the 2nd at 6.30 p.m. at Clarksdale, Mississippi. Tierra and Harmony, I don't know about you two, but I think Hines has a really good chance of making it to state this season. Compared to last season, their 2019 season, they can make it to state this year. Let's just hope COVID doesn't get in the way like it did last time, last season. Back, back to you, Tierra and Harmony. Thank you, Tracy. Harmony, I'm very excited about this sports season. Even with COVID cases on the rise, I still think that if everyone masks up and social distance, our soccer and football season will be full of surprises. Speaking of surprises, we'll take a look at our college corner after this message. Stay tuned. The Automotive Technology Program here at Heinz on the Utica Camp provides training for students to become automotive technicians. Training in automotive management, automotive engineering, and business operations are also components of this program. Students will be offered ASE certifications, NC3 certifications, ATEC trainers certification, and ProCut master certifications. Students who enroll in Heinz Utica Automotive Program will be in a nationally accredited program which now declares this department a STEM program. Men and women looking to jumpstart their career in a fast-growing broad field of technicians and engineering should enroll today in the Automotive Technology Program at Heinz Utica. Welcome back everyone. Tonight's segment has been full of surprises, but overall we hope you all have been aware of current events. Right now we will take a final look at what all is going on at the U. Students, make sure you have your ID badges. Officers will be making sure that you have them. If not, you'll be charged. You'll be, uh, tickets will be passed out if you do not have a parking decal as well, so make sure that you have that too. If not, go to the business office in the Walker Washington building. Also, security is up and running at the front entrance of the school here at the U. So again, students, make sure you wear your ID badge on, on at all times. And if you drive, make sure you have a parking decal. If not, go to the Walter Washington building and head on over to the business office. 
At this time, we will take a final look at the weather forecast. Ezekiel? <clears throat> this week started with 90 degree weather and with cl um, clear skies. Today we started with a 96 degrees with the lowest 73 degrees with a 15% chance of rain. There's a possibility we might get a chance of rain to receive some throughout the week, so be aware when you see them dark clouds. Be prepared to pull out your umbrellas and raincoats. Thank you, Ezekiel. Well, everyone, I hope you all enjoyed tonight's news. Hope you learned some tips on how to make sure you're, you keep your private information on your phone from being leaked. Also, make sure you support our soccer team and football team this season. Stay masked up, social distance. And if you haven't gotten vaccinated, we will keep you updated on all vaccine locations in the state of Mississippi. Remember to like our, face, like our Facebook page on radio and television and like, comment, and subscribe to our new YouTube channel to stay up to date with all information happening on the Heinz campuses. Have a great night, folks.